Hello, my name is Daryl Blackaby and in this presentation we'll look at the basic steps to start working with the O3D 3D sensor. Topics covered will include downloading and installing the Vision Assistant software, borrowing information, device setup, applications and monitoring mode. The first step is to download the Vision Assistant software. The software can be found in the service section of the iFEM website. Click on the service tab, downloads and then you'll find a link to the 3D sensors. The software is located towards the bottom of the page. You'll see the 3D uh, Vision Assistant software. There's a number of versions. Pick the latest version. Register and start the download. Once you download the Vision Assistant software, you'll need to extract it. Once extracted, you'll see the files. Like You'll see there's two EXE files. One is for standard resolution PCs and one is for high resolution PCs. I would try using the Vision Assistant for the standard PCs first. If the resolution doesn't uh, work, then try the high resolution mode. You'll also find a help folder here, which has all the instructions. I would recommend uh, printing the instructions, the English version of the 3D sensor programming manual. Once you open the 3D software, you'll have a view like this. The first step would be to open the wiring diagram here, click the 3D sensor, Look at the sensor version here with the eight pin connector and you'll see a wiring diagram. Uh, the wiring diagram includes uh, different cables here as well. So if you've got different IFM cables, you can pick them there and you'll see the color scheme change. Because uh, eight core cables have two different wiring schemes. If you pick the wrong one, the sensor may work, but not correctly. So best to do this step first and get the wiring correct. Next step is to go to find the sensor. And here, if you've got a direct connection with the IP address, you'll see it down here with the IP address 192.168.069. If your PC is not in this range, uh, it may come up with a different IP address. Uh, it means you haven't got a direct connection, but you can still work with the sensor to get started. Once you've connected to the 3D sensor, you'll see a number of tabs down the left hand side. A monitoring mode, application mode, service report, device setup, and device info. The first thing to look at is the device setup. It will stop the sensor, but that's okay. Here you can put a name for the sensor, password protection. This is where we can do our firmware updates, etc. There's a network mode here where we can change our IP address. So if you're not working in the correct range, your PC, we can change the IP address of the sensor here. There's also an interface mode here where we can change our interfaces, for instance, Ethernet IP, Profinet, TCP, TCP IP, etc. There's also an application switching mode where we can change between applications using digital inputs. Once you've configured the sensor in a device setup mode, you can go to the application mode to program the sensor. Here we can set up a number of applications. As you see, we can, I've got one application here, but we can have a maximum of 32. Uh, we can add a new application here, and you'll see we've got templates for a number of different applications. Depalletizing, robot pick and place, completeness, dimensioning and level. In these modes, there's a wizard to make a simple setup. Uh, usually takes about five minutes to do a complete setup. There is also a user defined mode here for more complex uh, programs. We can also import applications here. So if you have a saved application, we can bring it to the sensor here and work with it. With the application mode here, we can delete applications, I can duplicate an application, and I can export it to save the application. Once you have an application saved, you can give it a name here, and we can give it a description. Uh, we can also go and edit the application here. But once the application is completed, then we can go and monitor the application. Once you've set up the sensor in the device setup mode, you can go to the monitoring mode to visualize the application. In this mode, you can visualize the 3D point cloud in a number of different formats. 
I'm currently looking in the 2D mode where I'm looking at a box below the sensor. Here you'll see uh, the Z value, the distance value to in that particular pixel we're looking at here. And I can get additional information by pushing this tab here. If I go to the results here, you'll also see the distance, the level mode. I'm actually looking at a level mode at the moment, so it's looking at the highest point. There's also a 3D visualization mode where the different colors represent the different levels. We can have these tabs here. I can go to rescale here, or I can simply slide these tabs along to change the colors. All the colors do is represent the different heights. The warmer colors are closer objects, the cooler colors are further away. There's also an amplitude image mode here where we can look at a grayscale image where we get the reflectivity of each object, which can be handy for setting up. We can physically have a look at the, uh, the image. There's a number of other modes here we can look at. So the origin, a grid mode, You'll see we can display the point cloud as a mesh diagram in points or a solid object. And we can look from different uh, views here. I can also zoom in and zoom out. And I can just physically rotate the image here. Hopefully the information provided has given a good start to getting the 3D sensor online and working. If you need further assistance, there will be further videos in regard to setting up the wizards and the user defined mode. Thank you for listening. IFM, close to you.